Hey y'all, Paul from Halftone Digital, and I'm gonna show you how to take your SVG designs and bring them into Webflow and then control the color using Webflow and using interaction so you can change the colors inside of Webflow super easily. Okay, so to get started here, um, I just have a simple little kind of help icon inside of Figma here. It's just a circle and a piece of type question mark here. Uh, so the real thing that um, is going to help with this is if we take this question mark and we turn it into, you know, it works best if these icons are just kind of a single color. That's going to be the easiest way to kind of control it and, and, and not kind of get too, too confused. Um, so if we take this, this icon, this, this piece of text, and we go to this outline stroke, it's going to turn our, our icon from text into a vector shape. Uh, so it's going to kind of create outlines, so to speak, from, from Illustrator. So if we take that and we center it inside of our circle, and then we basically just want to cut out this question mark from the circle behind it. So we just go up to here to subtract selection, and there we've done this, and we have our single piece of artwork, that uh, single vector piece that we can you know, change the color and it kind of changes everything and the question mark is, is cut out of it, right? So then we're gonna jump over to uh, Webflow and here we have, just have an icon wrapper kind of set up, but instead of saving this as an image or an SVG or, or anything like that, um, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do an embed, HTML embed. So then we go back to Figma, we select our icon. And here's kind of the super important, super nice part is copy as SVG. So we copy, copy paste, copy as SVG. We paste that code into here and boom, there's our icon. You know, it's from code. Um, let's give this a class of icon. We'll make it 60 pixels tall. So it's the same exact size as how we designed it. And then here's kind of the, the, the important little clutch part is at the end here, um, scroll all the way to the end of your path here, you'll find this fill. And here we can put in, you know, any color that we want and, and it'll change the color of the icon. But if we type in current color instead and hit save and close, you can see colors changed. Um, we have our, our, our icon here and you can see it's it's been changed to this 333, which is inside of our typography settings. So here we can go and we can change, we can change the color inside of here and it will change um, over here, you know, super super cool um super easy to, to kind of manage your svgs and change the color you know maybe your color changes you know for for all sorts of stuff you don't have to save out a bunch of new images now you can just come in here inside of your webflow typography settings and you just change the color right there and this also just opens up the door that much wider for you know interactions and hover states um, let's make a super ugly hover state just to show how this might work transition font color and then you just choose some easing. Let's make it last a really long time. We go here, we hover over it, and we transition that super gross green color. Yeah, so you can just kind of start to imagine how, how this, you know, anytime you use an SVG inside of your, your projects, you can, you know, do it this way, and that way you have that much more control over it, and you can, you can edit it that much easier. You know, the color, hover states, interactions, um, all sorts of things, uh, you can kind of, you know, possibilities are uh, pretty endless. So yeah, super fun. Hopefully this helps. Thank you.